Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Today is one of my favorite days of the year, and that's when I get to plant the single seed challenge plant into the ground. Get it out of the cup, get it into the ground. So we're about to do that, and then I'm also going to go ahead and plant all the tomato starts that I have in this bed. Let's grow. Everybody, check out the size of this tomato plant. Now, if y'all been following this channel for any length of time, y'all understand just exactly how much I love the Single Seed Challenge and how it's just an amazing tool to slow down, look at one seed, plant that seed, take care of that seed, and show the entire documentation of the life cycle of that seed for the year. This is also an amazing way to get kids involved and excited about growing. Let them pick that one seed. Let them plant that seed. Let them take care of it. And then like today, when you get to take it out of this and get it into the ground, I mean, does it get any better than that? Just do it one time with one of your kiddos or your grandkids or you know a kiddo and you'll see that smile light up. And that right there for me, y'all, is what it is all about. Normally I plant the single seed challenge plant over in this bed. It's almost always in that corner right there. For the last two years, that's where the single seed challenge plant has been. But that section of the garden is reserved for the tomato challenge that is coming up between Next Level Homestead and this channel. So more to come on that. So this year, since this is an indeterminate tomato, and I already have the trellis and everything set up. We're gonna plant this plant right there. Be perfectly in line with that one right there. Let's get it out of the cup and see just how good the root system is. Because if you all remember, I took the plant from that little cup and transplanted it or up potted it into that cup about a month ago. Now it should have produced a lot more roots because again, every little tiny hair that is on a tomato plant has the potential to become a root if it's in touch with the soil. So that root system in this cup should be fantastic. Let's give it a shot, let's see. Okay, so again, single seed challenge. Let's take the stake off of there. Now it's going to be a little flimsy. See. <laughs> flimsy. See. Well, y'all, I cannot tell you how unbelievably disappointed I am right there I am uh, I am not happy I think I'll be right back. I need to go calm down. I'm not gonna lie, that that really that really upset me. So. And it's all my fault. Okay, I've had time to calm down. Not that I was really, really losing my mind, but very, very I'm very mad at myself. Y'all, I started this seed. December 1st and it's what March whatever it is I mean look how much look how tall this was <laughs> y 
yeah okay so let's see if my theory and what I did was correct this the there should be a massive root system all through here because when I put it in this cup it was only to about right there so all of this should be root let's see Okay, so as you can see, the plant had a really, really good root system. So, yeah. And you can see, this was the ori original cup. This was the transplant. So all of the stock of that tomato plant, where the ground, where the soil touched the stock, created all of these roots. So... This absolutely works. Up potting your tomato starts the way that I've shown absolutely 100% works. And if it wasn't for me being an idiot and taking that stick off when I shouldn't have, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I am so not happy. But Okay. But I'm not editing it out. I'm going to show it. So I show everything. This right here is probably the biggest mistake that I've made in, this is my fourth year of gardening. This right here, biggest mistake. And it took about two seconds for that thing to fall over. And it took about two seconds for this tomato plant to fall over. And look at that y'all, it was about to start flowering. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this back in the in the container here. I don't know. Water it in. See if it'll continue growing. I know it's not going to. But I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Okay. Well. Now that that has happened and my entire single seed challenge 2024 plant is dead. <laughs> I still have all of these tomato plants to get into the ground. So we are going to go put all of them in the ground and hopefully I won't destroy them. <laughs> all right, I've gone ahead and laid out all the tomatoes. Now, in each of those cups are numerous tomato plants of the same variety. I'm going, to do, I'm going to try to do three across of every one of those. Now, it's not going to take. I know that. Not all of these will take. Some of these plants are looking just really bad, rough shape. I'm not sure why. I'm a little confused on that. But the ones that do take will be great. I have other indeterminates inside that are starting to really put on size that I can always come out and get them put in if some of these die. But today's the day to start doing this, even though I just destroyed the one plant that I take the most care of. <laughs> and in a lapse of judgment, you all saw how fast that happened. Just, I'm still in shock, y'all, to be honest. So, uh, I'm gonna play some music and get these all planted. <laughs> Now again, what I'm going to do, every single tomato plant, you can see those little hairs on the plant. I will bury every tomato plant about to that first, about to the first leaf. There will be a lot of the tomato plant in the ground, letting the soil touch those little hairs to hopefully create more of a strong root system to make your plant even more viable for the coming spring, for the growing season and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will put a mixture of blood meal and bone meal at the bottom of every hole. Some of these I'll put eggshells in because I have a few. And uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. We're gonna be off to the races.
And just like that, 25 minutes later, <laughs> we're totally done. At least with this round of seed starts for the tomato plants. Now, these did not go as far as I thought they would. I really was expecting to be able to fill this whole bed up today and get them all going. Some of the starts didn't look good, so I kept them kind of bunched up. So hopefully if there's three in one hole, one real good one will take off and then I can trim the other ones out and thin the other ones out. So that was my thought process on that, but we're done, y'all. Now all I have left to do is water it in and still cry about the single seed challenge plant that uh, I destroyed. So, All right, I'd be lying to y'all if I said I wasn't still really upset about that plant. I think as a gardener, when you spend so much time on one specific plant, one specific seed, and for something like that to happen, it just, it, it's really devastating to a point. I'm really bummed about it, but keeping it real, showing you all exactly what's going on out here. And I think if nothing else, someone watching this will be like, hey, I'm not gonna do what that idiot did. And I'm gonna make sure I brace my plant the right way. <laughs> but it's all good. We'll start another single seed challenge plant here right down the road. Everyone, if y'all got anything out of this video, if you enjoyed it, you just wanna share it to share it, then share it. If y'all have not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so. Just click the subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. And as always, everyone, take care. God bless. Hope y'all don't have issues like this. <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all again real soon. Bye.